The snow is just beginning to fade tonight, and already many of us are thinking about the possibility of flooding. Utah's Division of Emergency Management says it is ready to respond right now with the command post already set up. New specialist Alex Cabrero joined us live tonight, and Alex, those flood risk maps are going to come in pretty handy, aren't they? That's right, Mike. You know, there was a saying at Utah's Division of Emergency Management that says where it rains, it can flood. That's basically saying a flood can happen anywhere. And with as much snow as we still have in the mountains this late into the season, all that snow still has to come down. It's safe to say Kathy Holder loves maps. And this is some mapping that we've just recently done in the area. But it's maps Holder like this one she's really paying um, attention to these days. Okay, that is where the high hazard waters are. Holder is Utah's is hazard mitigation you? officer with How Utah's okay. Division of Emergency Management. Uh, so Flooding and floodplain maps are things she can't stop thinking about this year. There is potentially going to be some flooding. It may be what they call nuisance flooding or just, you know, some neighborhoods getting some flooding. That's likely to happen a lot more in the near future because of our snowpack. It's no secret. The snowpack this year has many people thinking of 1983. Even emergency management's main office has a picture of Salt Lake City State Street flooding from that historic year. But a lot has changed in 40 years. The biggest difference is growth which changes the floodplain risk maps. There's not places for the water to go and we're encroaching on those uh, waterways. We're encroaching into where the water would go. That's why these maps are constantly updated because the floodplains are also changing all the time with growth. Another difference from back then is you're seeing newer neighborhoods with water detention and retention ponds designed specifically to help collect flood water and keep it away from homes as best as possible. And it's a constant effort and we're always working forward to mitigate our risks. Even still, no map can tell you exactly where flooding is going to happen or how much, but they give you an idea. And with all that snow still up there, it's better to have an educated guess than be caught by surprise. We know this is a record year. We got to be ready. Now, if you are wondering about your home, if your home is in a floodplain, we are putting links to all sorts of different websites. On our website version of this story, ksltv.com, Mike and Dini, if there is any year to pay attention to some of that stuff, it's probably this year. Yeah, when you said earlier, the, the person said, it, where it rains, it can flood, that gets your attention. Alex, thanks.